Why there's only one way to do it. So we straw straws and we see who gets the longest straw wins and gets the acorn. Alvin, are you cheating? Of course not, Fiona. Why would you say that? Because Alvin, we can see that you're holding the longest straw behind your back. Now, how did that straw get there? Alvin! So we each get a number and the one who gets the highest number gets the acorn. Don't even think about it. Um, zero? Not even close, Theodore. Look, this is getting us nowhere. The straw thing was a much better idea than mathematical equations. Oh, really? And when you play against the longest straw, rule number one is you don't cheat. You may have a point there, but I like the simple. Since I found the icon, I should have it. Not a chance! No way! We're all starving now, but I think it might be just you, Theodore. Hey, don't get mad at me. I didn't get a chance at breakfast. Okay, I will get the acorn and you can get the leftovers. No chance. If anyone should have it, it should be me. You're both wrong. It should be me. Give it to me. No, it's mine. Give it back. Should we? Nope. Jeanette, just keep walking there, boys. I'm sure they'll figure it out themselves. <gasps> A giant acorn. Just what I needed for my soup. But, aww. See, this is why the two rats get everything and we get nothing. Mmm, this is great soup, Ellie. Yeah, thanks for sharing. It was my pleasure. Um, should we say that we got the acorn from the store and accidentally rolled out of our shopping bags and it's not really theirs? Oh, Jeanette, Jeanette, let me tell you something about boys. Boys are dumb. They'll never 